Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. This video is sponsored by Kush Online, your home for cute, comfortable, curvy wear. Kush takes the stress out of getting dressed. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And welcome to another video. <clears throat> Hey, Mish Mob. I'm so happy to see you here. I hope you've had a great day. And Bush Barbies, you too. I know you may be busy, but thank you for taking the time to check out this video. Replay game, I need y'all to do y'all thing. Guys, as you come in, please hit that like button and be sure to comment down below or in the chat. And guys, the most important part of this conversation is you. Be sure to join in in the comments. Let us know how you feel. And be sure to say hello. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that post notification bell so that you'll know every time we upload. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Kush Online. We take the stress out of plus size queens worrying about what to wear. Hey guys, welcome again. Hey Galatians, hey Miss Diamond, and hey Yvette. I'm so happy you guys had the opportunity tonight to take some time to check out this live. Been out of town for several days, so I hadn't had the opportunity to really go live. Um, didn't have uh, the best um, internet connection. I don't know what it is about uh, certain cities. Even in 2024, they got crappy internet, which is crazy to me in this day and time. How many of you guys was able to catch the uh, grandma drama going on on YouTube this weekend? I'm sure some of you probably frequent some of the other channels. One of them was uh, Peach's mom. The other was Miss Loretta. And then lastly, um, I'm new. I don't really know her, but her name is, I think, Cynthia Carver. I don't really know how she fit in, but I know she's got beef with Miss Loretta. I'm not sure how the drama started, but I do know that Miss uh, Cynthia Carver and um, Peach McIntyre Mama, baby, they shut Miss Loretta right on down. When I say they talked about that lady from A to Z, it was crazy. And the thing about it was, I mean, Miss Loretta does have a lot to say, and she's very uh, emotionally invested when it comes to Peach's mom. Um, but the thing that was so interesting to me is Miss Loretta has been on here dogging Peach from day one. And then all of a sudden this weekend, it was like, Peach was right about this. Peach was right about this. I was like, whoa, when we uh, switch teams. I mean, even if you got beef with somebody, just because somebody else dislikes that person, 
shouldn't automatically form an alliance with them. I just thought that was so interesting. Now, I know that everything P says out her mouth is not necessarily a lie, but uh, just because you don't like her mama don't make the things she say true either. And so I just thought that was so interesting how she kind of jumped and went over to that team. I was just like, honey, what's really going on? But, um, man, I ain't gonna lie. That Carver lady, she, honey, she got a vulgar mouth and baby, she was, uh, she was doing this right here. Baby, she was knucking and bucking and swinging just like my granddaughter was in that little uh, meme. Um, hey, Queen Slay. Hey, Jonix Lifestyle. Hey, Ronnie Rivers. Welcome to the chat. I think I said hey to your vet. I know I said hey to Galatians. Welcome to the chat, guys, and all the uh, everybody in the bushes. Welcome as well. Let me make sure. Hey, Cancer. Welcome to the chat. Y'all be sure y'all hit that uh, like button. Hey, somebody's lying. Welcome to the chat. So tonight on our um, agenda, we're going to be talking um, Jacksons of Atlanta. We're going to be talking. Uh, it's a piece of a video that Peach did. I'm hope I'm gonna have to make sure I have the right piece of it, but. I want to show y'all a piece of a video um, in reference to Peach. And then we will be going over to Shay. That's the young lady who had the baby taken by CPS. She's got an update. And if we have time, we're going to throw uh, Delusional Denise in here as well. You know, it's, she calls herself Delicious Denise. But I say Delusional Den Denise because for you to be out here... Um, Hey, Son Away. Hi, and welcome to the chat. For you to be out here uh, begging the way she begs, honey, ain't nothing delicious about that. Hey, Passion Lisa, welcome to the chat. Hey, Queen, Sa Queen Slay, I'm not sure if I spoke to you uh, above or not. You right, Queen Slay. It'd be so much going on. I was just talking to Planet Mimi earlier, and I was telling her, honey, it's hard to keep up with everything going on. And y'all know I put out a video earlier in reference to um, uh, Mahogany and Justin and the divorce. Um, he was actually served on the 26th of March. Um, and uh, the it was added to the docket on the uh, 5th of April, but he was served on the 26th of March. Not delusional pork chop, though. <laughs> but, yeah, so. And the thing that I thought was so interesting about that, they were saying how they are living in a bona fide state of separation. But when they served him, they served him at home. And when she files any paperwork that she files against him, she does not use the home address. She actually uses the business address. Now, I know when she's um, conducting business in the name of the corporation, it makes sense to use that. But I just thought that was very interesting. And then, guys, you remember I told you all about, um, about me seeing their house up for rent. And I was like, well, maybe I'm just seeing stuff. Maybe it's not for rent, you know because we hadn't heard anything at that time about them moving but she did say that she is going to have to move um which is unfortunate for her um so i guess i wasn't wrong I, but you know usually when people um rent out a property and they put it out for rent they rent it they put it out on all of the renting sites so when i only saw it one place i just assumed that maybe it was an error 
sometimes people do make mistakes, but apparently that wasn't the case because she did just put up a video recently stating that she would be leaving and she's looking for a place to move. So she's looking for properties just like he is. You said she needs to get all the money that she can from that pathetic. Now tell me who we're talking about, Galatians. Mahogany needs to leave Justin and not use it for content. Yeah, but you know that's not going to happen. That's how they make their, uh, that's how they make the main money that they make. And um, quite frankly for her, it actually benefits her to use this situation for content because she has primary custody of the children, which means that she can film with them at any time, day or night. And we all know that's how they train a group in the first place. So she's definitely, honestly, being that she is a content creator full time, it wouldn't be wise of her not to use them since that's your job. She is a quote unquote family channel and being a family channel, um, this is kind of what she does. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect her not to use this. I'm just, just to be honest. Um, well, Galatians, I've seen the husband post with the kids, but to say he has all the kids, yeah, I, I, I don't know about all the time. They're allegedly splitting the responsibility, though. That's what they've been telling us, and obviously, we know what they've told us. So, um, just judging by the videos we've seen, she has them more of the time, and she did mention that as well. And the only time we've seen him have them is the few times that she alleges that she has. But even in the, some of those instances, the kids, you could hear them when she was videoing in, in one part of the house, you could hear the kids in another part of the house. So I don't know if they're being truthful or not, but the fact that they served him, an actual process server, served him at the home where mahogany and the children are still residing at this moment um i mean i don't know that makes it kind of look suspect to be honest oh you're saying uh why is she suing him now Unless I've missed something, I don't think she sued him, but he did sue her, and rightfully so, because they hadn't paid him. So unless I've missed something, I didn't, I mean, I know she probably mentioned that she was going to do something, but it's just words. She doesn't have the ability to sue him because he hasn't done anything to them. But, you know, when you're trying to save face, she had to say what she had to say, so... She wants to come out here and say that the information he is putting out is bad information. And because of that, um, you know, that she was going to do this or that. That's just talk. That's her trying to save face because when you're a content creator and you are the type of person who wants to have uh, influencer control over your audience, they got to see you as a good person. And how she handled that situation with him was not only very unwise because she should have just paid him he is the literal person who is making their business of being online possible he's recording them and he's editing consistently so why on earth would you bite the hand that's literally feeding you it was absolutely dumbfounded I wonder, oh, let me put this up here. Well, Queen Slay, I'm going to say this. The filing happened. I did make the documents available in my previous video. So if you haven't had the opportunity to check that out, do so. Um, the update that I gave you guys earlier um, in reference to him being served is actual as well. So you can definitely uh, go and refer back to that video. Uh, and I just told you again when he was served. 
Um, also, they do have a document on file as of, let me pull it up here real quick. I want to say April the 5th, but let me make sure. Yes. Wait a minute. Now, they have a document here that is also on file, and it is called a Alternative Dispute Resolution Act document, basically putting in place a way for them to um, resolve issues. Now, the interesting thing about this document, guys, it actually was recorded with Henry County twice. The first time it was recorded was January the 5th, 2022. And then it was recorded again on March the 11th, 2024 at 3.55 p.m. So that's very interesting. Let me look at the day signs. Now, the fourth, the, yeah, maybe they filed once before as far as um, maybe they were having issues before. They filed once before. They worked it out, um, whatever their issues were, and now they're filing again because the interesting thing about this is this document shows to have been signed by uh, Hollyville, which is the, the same judge that's proceeding over their current uh situation but it was it looked like she was the same judge that it was signed with before so i mean i've never seen a document that was already filed with the court refiled so i mean that in and of itself is uh something uh worth discussing but I don't have any reference point when it comes to that, so I really can't say why they did it that way, but it was just refiled again. Um, so, Yvette, if they have a babysitter in each home, Justin would pay his babysitter while he has the kids, and then she would pay her babysitter while she has the kids. Okay, well, I didn't see her say that she was going to sue Sunaway, and she would be absolutely delusional to take her behind back into a courtroom with him, knowing that she has an open judgment, and then going in there, filing another case that you have to pay for when you didn't even satisfy the first judgment. So, I mean... There's nothing that he said, as far as I know, that she can prove he lied. Now, she could say he's being dishonest about some of the details when it came to the kids, but that's a either here nor there. That's word of mouth. She can't prove that it didn't happen. So all she can say, all she can do is put a gag order on him and tell him not to talk anymore. And only if it's proven that he lied would a judge even entertain that. I mean, it's just really, in the position that she's in, her best bet is to leave the situation alone. Well, she is dressing a little more modest, but I mean, I guess she doesn't have a reason to be raunchy since she ain't with him no more. That's the only thing that I could think, to be honest. Let's jump on into this video here uh, to get the uh, reaction started. Um, pop this up here real quick, get it ready, then I'll pull it on the screen. Y'all let me know uh, what well, you guys have been speaking with me, so hopefully you can hear me. But once I put this up, we'll make sure that we confirm that you guys can hear.
Hold on, baby. It is literally one o'clock in the morning, and I'm sitting here with my boys, being you know, building a track. Here they are right now. Everybody say hey. Hey. Justin, say hey. Say hey, Justin. Hey. Hey. Say how you doing? Um, Milo, you say hey. Mateo, how you feeling? You say hey, Mateo. Mateo, they couldn't see you. Say hey one more time. Mateo, they can see you. Say hey. Yeah. Um, and it is literally one in the morning. We're up building a track. Um, I told them at first that I um that we were not gonna build it tonight. They were just opening it tonight. But when I told them to put it up, y'all, they literally just started like getting fed and like they wanted to cry. I started watering up and so just with so much changing in our lives right now, it's like, okay, let's open the track. And because last thing I want to do is see my babies cry for anything. And, you know, it's a fine line between them getting over on stuff and me just letting them just have their moments. Um, and letting them just do things that brings them joy. So right now, we it's the one in the morning. And we are working on building the track. Can you tell them about the track you got, Marcel? Yeah, I need a little help. You need a little help? So, what kind of track is this? You said this is a parking garage? Can you show them the dinosaur? Yeah! Okay, I got Marcel, show them the dinosaur. Oh, I go. Get the dinosaur, Justin. Marcel. Get it! Get it! Here. Okay. Justin, come tell them about the dinosaur. Uh, Y'all, they are so sad. Goodness. They are not even... Um, paying no attention. They really just want to build it. What, baby? The dinosaur what? Is this invention? The dinosaur goes right there? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? How much? We got a lot left or we just, we almost done? Um, Mama got a lot left that ever goes here. The track. So are we almost done or no? Yeah. Yeah. We're not almost done? Yes. Yeah. We got a lot left to do? Yeah. How long is this going to take us? Uh, hours. Hours? Oh Lord. <laughs> he is so cute. And I, I will say this. I love seeing them being engaged with. Um but you can definitely see that Marcel is like the little daddy of the house. Like it's almost like he gotta take care of his brothers. And I'm not saying it like in a way to say that they're never home. Well, I mean, they kind of are. We've seen that. But my point is just that you can see that he takes the lead. That's really kind of where I was going with that. He takes the lead. Yeah, so I'm hoping this don't take us a whole bunch of hours. I'm hoping. What'd you say, Milo? Come here, baby. Come here. What'd you say? Do you like the track? You do. I know. So, y'all, I'm getting ready to help them build it. Oh, I'm so tired. We have done so much already. And these tracks take forever to build. Yes, baby. Hold on. Too much lot, too much talking. Um, Because I'm trying to listen to Milo. Milo's so soft-spoken. What you say, Milo? You like your track? So, I'm going to... Justin, you rolling the track and we're not even finished yet, son. Justin say he don't care. Put this crap together, mama. Hold on, why are we yelling? Why are we yelling? Calm down. Um, Justin, what's that? Uh, that goes to the parking garage. That goes to the parking garage? Yeah! Tayo, what's going on? Justin I think Tayo said he on beast mode. Let me see what y'all saying over here. Where am I at? Um, son away. Let me look at it again.
Let's see. I'm pretty positive that's the that's the judge's name. She's the she's the judge in um Yeah, Henry County. Holly W V E A L Veal. She's the judge in Henry County that is proceeding over the divorce. So if her name is the same one as the other Holly, now hers is V-E-A-L, and she is an African-American woman. So uh, it's odd that they would have the same name, but she's definitely not, I don't, well, I don't think they're related. Yeah, he's in here, um, Cancer. Yeah, Holly Veal is a judge, a V E A L. Yeah, she's she's the judge that's over the uh, divorce. What did they lie about, son away? Yeah. Um. But if you notice, they are a lot different when it's just mom as opposed to mom and dad. Yeah, that's true. Yes, ma'am. Her uh, the judge's name is Holly Veal. Girl, it depends on the babies, honey. You know how that go. Honestly, uh, there is a department in the magistrate court, um, some way that you can go to. You can take your judgment and you go to the same magistrate court. They have a garnishment department. Um, you need to take that and see if you can garnish them. Um, at that point, you don't have to wait on them to take the money. They'll send a request to the bank, verifying that the funds are there, and then they'll just take the funds. Um, I would do that. Because one way or another, she got money to do everything else she want to damn do. Then she would have to have the money to pay me. And I'm going to be honest with you. This girl been cranking out videos, and she been getting views. And she's the same CEO. She's the CEO of the Jacksons of Atlanta, as well as whatever other business ventures that she has. So she has access to the money. So you can go after not only the business, but her in name. That way, uh, they can take it from any uh, interest that she owns. That's what I would do. Also, I would make a complaint with the Department of Labor because that's a whole different level. She don't want them in her life. That's true. Because it was only the older four playing on that jungle gym. I remember that. Sorry about that, mama. But welcome to the chat, GNT. Inspiration Z, welcome to the chat. Exactly. We love that he spoke his truth. Amen. Hello, uh, Miss Teresa. Welcome to the chat. Beth M, welcome to the chat. If you noticed just a second or two ago, he actually was talking. He's more comfortable when it's just mom as opposed to mom and dad. Well, dad is very, uh, he's very much the disciplinarian, uh, if you will. So that is why there's a difference. There's a difference in how they deal with one another.
to be honest with you, Teresa, CPS should have already come and at least did a welfare check because of some of the allegations that have been made. So whether, you know, she's putting them on there or not, the fact of the things that have happened, there needs to be some type of consequences. Parents like that always end up in a position that if they don't, if they're not held uh, basically to task for the things they've done, it usually gets worse and worse until, God forbid, something you know, happens that you cannot just walk, walk back from. So for the sake of her children, hopefully they will make sure that everything is good and that they're being cared for. I mean, that, that would be my hope and not because I wish bad on her just because they need, those kids deserve the same loving home and atmosphere as any other child. That's why. Hey, Regina, welcome to the chat. Hey, Cherie, welcome to the chat. Hey, Beth, welcome to the chat. Hey, Sunshine and Rainbow Nursery, welcome. Hey, Mira, welcome to the chat. Let's jump back over and uh, watch some more of the video. Okay. What, baby? Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. I think they're upset because... Justin, the track is finished, and Justin keeps going in the race. Huh, baby? So I think that's like a thing right now. But um, y'all, we get ready to build this track. I want to let y'all know I am building the track at one in the morning with my son. Mind you, y'all, they have so many tracks already. Excuse me, my hand was hurting. They have so many tracks already. They have a track over there, two tracks over there. They have tracks upstairs in their room, and they have this track. I'm definitely gonna do their room once they move. I'm kind of. They gonna break? He gonna break it? Yeah, he go. He go break his car. Milo, don't break. There you go. No, I'm so tired. But this is real life. They are fed and and energized. I'm like, why isn't nobody falling asleep? Why isn't anybody getting tired? They are just like on a 10. And so we are going to finish this track. Hopefully it don't take all night. Hopefully it just take at max another hour and I can go to bed at 2 a.m. I'm tired. Maverick is asleep. Miles is asleep. Um, but I'm hoping I can go to sleep real soon because mama is um, Alright, y'all ready to finish? Alright, let's knock this out. What'd you say, baby? You ready to finish? I'm such a new. I don't know how she understand what they be saying sometimes. Earth tones, and these are just speaking. Hey, y'all! Thank you so much for watching. We're pausing real quick to share a little bit about my Patreon. Love y'all. All right, Marcel. This goes right here. Baby, she made sure. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Good son away. I can't wait till they jack it up. Get the bread. They're gonna take it all at once. She should have just paid. That was dumb. Yes, 
Sheree, she has six kids under six. Y'all, so the track is finished. It's 2.06. So that literally took an hour. I'm about to clean up, y'all, because the kitchen is a mess. I'm so tired. Welcome to the chat, Angel Flower. I kid y'all not. I am really exhausted. I had did a little bit of meal prep over here. And so I'm about to put all this in the fridge. Um, I have some carrots right here. I have Susie, I think that it would be a little bit more. Okay, guys, I don't know why I keep going. My uh, speaker went back out. But Susie, I was saying that it's one thing to show a tad bit of neglect. It could cause a visit. But for them to really intervene and take the situation to court. Um. I think it is going to cause way more. Two pastas. Let me get the lids for that. All right, got the two pastas bags in there. Okay, now Mahogany put up another video moments ago. Now, I had seen a, a portion of the one we just looked at, but this one here was put up not too long ago. So we're going to jump over here really quick. Um, also, I'm going to be trying to get more information in reference to the suit that Mahogany filed against Justin. Uh, she did uh, file in court um, a suit against him. So I'm going to try to get more information about that as well as find out when it's going to court so that we can, uh, um, you know, have all the details. You know, we need to know what's going on. I feel like the reason that she, she had already filed it some time ago, but she actually didn't have it right away. So because of that, I think she's feeling the pressure with her being sued. And that's the only reason she did it. Majority of the responsibility of them, getting them straight and, you know, so that I can go out and work because I can't stop working, obviously. And yes, 
you know, YouTube is one of my streams of income, but I have to like do other, you know, it's other requirements outside of YouTube as far as like sitting down and doing a video per se. Like I can't film from my couch every day, you know, I could, but it's just like, it's multiple sides to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Multiple sides to being an influencer. There's brands I have to shoot for and there's this, like, so I have to have some, somebody that's with my kids so that I can do that. Um, and it's just, sometimes I just find myself so overwhelmed because, you know, it's like everything about life is so new. And though that's not a negative thing per se, it's just like, right now you guys know I'm 27. I got my kid's father when I was 17. Um, of course, you know, grieving our marriage is one thing, but I'm also walking into just like everything's so new for me, everything. Um, and it's just so different sometimes that it's overwhelming and, and it being overwhelming doesn't mean that I can't do it cause I do and I can, and I get up every day and I do it, but, um, and it's not even like that person did all these things that I feel overwhelmed right now. It's not even like they did those things for me. They didn't, but it's just still a different level that comes with. With being by yourself, you are by yourself 24 seven. You relied on him as a disciplinarian. He's the one who dressed the kids. I never saw her not one time dressed the kids. So now you're doing everything and you are basically Peach McIntyre. Peach relied on Wood to do a lot of the day to day. And he did a lot of it, but he got tired of it because she wasn't trying to help. Now, I don't think Mahogany is the same laziness as Peach, but um, I think that she was an integral part of their earnings and she wasn't a morning person. So he's the one who got up and did the work on that type of level when it came to getting them dressed and stuff like that in the morning when they actually had the responsibility. So that's why she's overwhelmed. Doing everything by yourself. And then especially when I have the responsibility of the kids primarily, it's just like, that's an overwhelming situation in itself. And then just me trying to just navigate, you know, you know, get my own place and, you know, work. And it's like my plate is full. My life is changing in so many ways that it just feels so overwhelming. Not like I want that person to come back or anything or, you know, nothing like that. It's just like sometimes it just feels overwhelming. It's so many emotions. My home away from home. 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 Get my home. 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 And as I said, God is literally blessing me. He is. As I kid y'all not, when I'm sitting on here, like opportunities come through my email. Bless, like blessings are there, but the frustration of the matter and the feelings that I feel they don't necessarily like you can be blessed but you can still feel does that make sense this can still be a blessing in disguise you're absolutely right and I've said that on uh my one of my uh previous lives that that's all she really would have to do now it'll take a minute because of the things that she's done for people to forget a lot of it and, and it's going to be some people that they lose just because of how they conducted themselves in the past. But, you know, regardless to the fact, I believe that she could and she would make a lot of money. And as a matter of fact, what would end, end up happening is Justin is not going to be very successful because of who he is and because of some of the things that he's done. Especially if the things that she's saying is true, he's already wanted for embezzlement. Now he done took from their company and went on about their business. And that's probably more so why they're not cordial is that instead of the divorce itself. She doesn't seem, you know, that involved as far as the emotions of it. She's really taking everything in stride. I think she's a strategic person. She's continuing to do what she had to and land on her feet. Now, someone said, Mahogany, where is your family? Blah, blah, blah. And she says that her family has been down helping her. Now, that's what she says. So that's probably how she's been handling things up to this point. Um, She could do a lot of things, Beth. I mean, let's be honest. We The floodgates are open. She has six kids. She could do something weekly with each kid one-on-one. She could read to them. She could. She used to take time 
and do videos of her like teaching the boys she can discuss some matters with us as to why because they sound kind of like they may have hearing issues i know one of them one of the second set of twins i think did have I issues she sees a lot of the comments she could address them and she claims she's so transparent talk about everything you know we don't want to just hear about you and justin and if they did that then i think it would help kind of redeem her and more importantly pay these people that she owe and don't be trying to screw them over pay them in a timely proficient manner and show them the respect they deserve for working for you that would really go a long way for her yeah and that's one thing i've heard a child that has autism definitely needs to operate on a schedule to be honest with you love she kind of is she does get um a whole lot more attention than most or, or and especially than her husband people like her more um, they see her as a more docile being, although sometimes that can just look stupid. Um, but whatever the case is, uh, people look at her very differently. Hey, Mimi. Um, and I mean, she really could do better if she would handle what she messed up and just move on in the right way and humble herself. We were there for the family dynamic not because we liked justin and mahogany we did not want to see her ass cheeks we did not want to see a lot of the things that we saw it wasn't about them they got lost in what it really was if they go back to the basics or should i say her she'll be all right even with him if you notice whenever he does any video and adult with the babies um he's not very patient he doesn't let them be boys just you know without trying to rally them and control them and because of that we definitely don't um we don't see him and deal with him the same as we do her so i mean it just is what it is he will have a harder time getting along than her let's go back to the video for you but you can still have emotions this can definitely be a win for you but you can still have emotions of just feeling like ugh, you know that's the best way i can explain my life sometimes it's just it's so much it's so much hey y'all thank you so much for watching we're pausing real quick to share a little bit about my patreon love y'all Baby, she um, won't get that Patreon. But nonetheless, we're good. Hey, Queen. Instead of focusing on small clients or serving individual consumers, you act. Nonetheless, we're getting to it. And I don't want to stay in that moment too long. So, I am, um, I was in the middle of eating my Starbucks. I got me a cheese dance this morning, y'all. And I am eating that. And I got this. Lavender latte. Let me tell y'all what I got. Then I have to run into the nail salon because my schedule is booked. And by that, I mean I need to get my nails done, head to pick up my clothes that needed to be altered, run to my hairstylist's house to get my hair done. While I'm getting my hair done, makeup is going to be going, and then I need to get on set. Come on. The thing is on here, so I can't even... Okay. So, y'all, I got a grande latte with lavender powder and vanilla syrup. And so... The lavender powder is something that they're doing right now for the season. And so I just added lavender to it. And the vanilla syrup so that the latte doesn't taste too bland. I wonder if this is going I wonder is this gonna be too sweet considering the fact moving ahead. Alright, y'all. So we are dressed and ready. Um I am actually headed on I'm on the way to the first set all of these are outside because they're lifestyle shoots so i'm really excited y'all 
boy it has been one heck of a, of a day and i feel like this whole vlog has almost been in the car but it hasn't really been but i feel like all the talking parts must have been i just feel like i've been in the car all day and so I my question is this lifestyle shoots for what are these for her clothing line like what because she really didn't tell us what she's doing now like i said before i think that she is going to pull way more money than justin so i hope he really knew what he was doing when he left i am so ready to get to work and do what i do take some amazing pieces of content film these videos and just really shine my light and talk and share my heart and whether that's through my words or my looks or my just everything and so i'm really blessed y'all I do feel a sense of peace now. Um, as I told you guys, I had so many moving parts going on. And as soon as I sat in my hairstylist chair, y'all, everything just started to just, I started to feel a lot better. I think just being able to just sit and not have to do, because y'all know I've been ripping and running all day from the nails to the alteration place, this, that, the third, make sure the kids was good. I just been running. Well, if she would pay the people that work for her, she wouldn't have had to do so much. Running, running, it was like the first time I could sit and not do nothing. Cause even right now, like I'm driving, so I got to focus. And so once I was, you know, in my hairstylist's chair, it was the first time I could just sit. And because even with the nail salon, y'all, that was a piece of work because they didn't understand what I meant by the French tip. And so that was crazy. I'm like, what, what kind of dog on nail salon don't know what a French tip is? Like, I, I ain't never heard of that. I'm gonna have to try to catch up with these. Okay. No, he don't. He cut their hair with some scissors, which I think is crazy. Couldn't have been my babies, but maybe they don't want the hair short. I don't know. It's just weird how they, but he does it for the reaction of it. He doesn't even do it for the best interest of their hair. He does it just to get a reaction out of the people. So that's that. I know I need to put my seatbelt on, y'all. I'm about to as soon as I put this camera down. And so it was just so much going on. But I feel so much better, guys. And I'm ready to do what I do. And I feel really good about it. And I'm so just proud of myself for keeping pushing. Even though I felt like there was so many setbacks in my way. And so now it's time to stand on business and get to it. So I'm really excited. Just wanted to update y'all. I kid you not um i'm gonna tell y'all what all i did but it's been a full day by all means all right y'all and literally my last thing for the day is before i head home is i am on a live with my patreon family so make sure y'all are joined in on patreon because i go live on there and i love just the time we have together so sweet and intimate and real it'd be tears it'd be so much going on but i'm so thankful for my patreon family so Definitely um, join Patreon. Why? I don't understand, you know, I guess I'm a baby um, content creator. Um, you have people here on YouTube. You have a very big family on YouTube. You get literally paid for them to watch your content. And I get that you have multiple streams even of content, but, you know, the haggling to get people to pay $16 a month, for pretty much the same content to me, 
I just don't like that about, you know, some of these folks. Now, if you were the type of content creator that put certain information out, uh, like a Tasha K, for example, I know she had a, you know, she has her Tasha K online uh, content and that's, you know, uh, exclusive content. And then you have your regular stuff. This lady literally just has her one life. It's not like they get something over there that we don't get. And so for that reason, I just think it's shady. I mean, she had a great nanny. She just didn't pay the lady. <clears throat> if you want that experience, because it's really like a tight-knit community over there, y'all. I literally just finished my live, and um, it went really, really good, y'all. Uh, on Patreon. Ooh, dang. Ugh. Dang, y'all. I'm dropping stuff. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. Um, so, y'all, I'm going to head home, and I'll pick up and catch up with y'all. Once I get through the door, got to go get my baby. It's the Big Pig song. Oh, man. Oh, Babies. Guys. <laughs> Honey, she don't stay on the outskirts. She's in a whole different city. Gone. We know, baby. Yes, I. your business is out here. It is. Anyway, you can't hear me, Jen? I hope so, because that was a while back. Okay, let me know that y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Okay, next we're going to go over to uh, Delirious Denise. Um, I have discussed her, I think, twice here on the channel. I did an independent video, and then I put up one um, in one of my Mommy Sector Mondays. And um, we never made a, a conscious decision. I just continued to talk about it. I mean, she just brings so much to discuss. Let me say it like that. So with that being the case, I wanted to uh, talk about her. So I'm going to pull her up on the screen. One moment, please. I hate that she doesn't do uh, her videos in long form content form because you kind of lose a little bit in trans translation like that. Hey, Latoy. Hi, and welcome to the chat. Okay. I saw that, Yvette. It may actually move even faster if she do right by the people who helped her get there. You know, that a lot of times is where people mess up, especially when you're 
experiencing a growth spurt when you don't take care of those who take care of you. I mean, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes, but it's how you recover from them that really matters. Let me make sure this looks good, and then I'm going to pop it on up on the screen, and we're going to jump on over here real quick. Not anymore. Well, I don't want you in the car. You just gave me a headache because of this. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Listen, Randall, listen. I'm going to try this again for a little bit. I only have like, I don't know, 20% on my phone. I had to call the school. Hey, Daniel, I'm back. I had to call the school because... Now, for those of you who may not know, this woman's name is... She calls herself Delicious Denise, but Jennings says a Delirious Pork Chop. Repeat after me, Delirious Pork Chop. <laughs> you about right, girl. But she is just somebody who came out of nowhere and she is the ultimate. She done took, a, a, what was her name? Allison Alana's place for big and her and um, what is that girl's name? Wine glass. She took her and wine glass's place. Like she begs more than both of them put together. So in this particular video right here, she's going to tell us that she had to call the uh, school. But what happened prior to this, it was actually on a separate clip because she stopped her live. Her daughter, Gypsy, told her that the teacher asked her if she bathed at home. So the niece... Her a headache um but she just didn't want to say it because of the fact of what she's saying but the fact of the matter is i don't know why you mad about the teacher asking that because quite frankly i probably would have had doggone nurse call the child exactly cancer i would have had the nurse call home to see what was going on and i probably would have went ahead uh, I probably would have went ahead and called defects myself if the child smelled that bad. Now, this is her child, and she's telling her, get out the car because you don't gave me a headache because you stink so bad. And the little girl is like, what, what? She really want to say it, but she don't want to get drugged because, baby, I was waiting. It's whatever Gypsy was sharing with me. I, I didn't think that that was appropriate for a teacher to be talking to a six-year-old asking her these personal questions Help me, I'm so i had to get off this live not only because there was some idiots on here but because i had to while it's all fresh in my mind call the school and, and they they switched me to the assistant principal's office and um i had to say what i had to say you should have been having to take your daughter upstairs and put her in some soap and water. That's what you should have been doing. You so busy worrying about them busting you out at the school and creating another CPS case because they did send CPS. I don't know if it was this instance or something else, but CPS came to her house because they want to know that this girl had running water because she couldn't have with the way she be smelling. I don't care if it was a recording or not, but I had to say what I had to say. You don't, you don't do that. You don't talk to children like that. You don't ask them questions. If you want to know, call the parents. If you want to know these personal questions, you got to go because you got to go for real. You got to go. Go inside. Take these shorts off. Take these off, but leave your underwears on. Because I don't know what's going on, but... It's a, it's a little, it's a little. It's a little what? It's a little, it's a little, it's a little stank, you. baby. You stank. You stank. It's a little, it's a little. I don't, I wanna, don't want my puppy. I don't want to say it, but it's a little. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot. Hi, stank. how are you? How you doing? Baby, she got a really stank to get hey, her mama a headache. You're, you're going to mess up my car. Please, because every time you open up that door, it's cold and windy. And y'all see that? It's windy over here. Please go inside. You don't talk to children like that. You don't ask children personal questions. 
I had to make sure I called that school and gave them a piece of my mind because I'm I don't like that teacher from jump anyways. You should have gave your daughter a piece of your uh heart by washing her tail. That's what you should have did. Why you worried about the damn teacher? You worried about the wrong person in the equation. And baby, her daughter busts her right out on their doggone live. They asked me if I took a bath. Honey, she couldn't pull that one back. That's why she's talking about it's crazy people on here. No, it's people on here that's going to uh, hold you to task on your bull crap. And your baby is a little musky. Asking my daughter all these personal questions. I would be mortified, y'all. I couldn't do it. I couldn't have. I... She had she should have smelled that baby going out the door. And just imagine what their hotel room smelled like if that baby smelled that bad. She said the baby. You should, if you want to know, you need to call me. If you want to know, you need to call the parent. Yeah, I smoke. Oh my god. Y'all got a problem with the woman smoking? They got a problem with the fact that you begging for their money to take care of your dog, to buy your cigarettes, to pay for your hotel room, and you a woman with two kids. That's what they really got the problem with. I ain't gonna stay on here too long. I I, I think these little afternoon chats, I don't think that I'm gonna come, I'm, I'm just gonna do my morning chats and that's it. I get all the adults in the morning. In the afternoon, I get all these weird people and I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. I don't know how other YouTubers put up with it and they lie and they smile and they, they fake the funk, but not me. I don't like it. Thank you. Oh, money bags. How are you? How you doing? I'm surprised she asked for no money. Uh-uh. Now y'all, I heard that she's supposed to get SSI for her kids and quite possibly even her unalived uh spouse but yet she still be on here begging like she's starving oh lord y'all done uh ran it up in these comments says, let me try to get caught uh Mama Pat's Nursery, hi, and welcome to the chat. Oh, well, I ain't never heard that one, uh, Miss Yvette. I've never heard ever anybody from the age of one years old, everybody that I have ever seen with a child, they cut their hair with clippers. So, I mean, hey. I'm assuming you are talking about mahogany cancer. Yes, she has taken off some weight. That's definitely true. Child, I guess. Does she have time to mother her kid? Um, I bet you now, Mimi, she probably doesn't have much time at all. Exactly. I would not be paying her for Patreon. Unless it was some really exclusive content behind the scenes. If she was letting us know everything she was doing, I mean, there's really nothing you're getting. The things that she claimed, just like talking about receipts about her uh, divorce. Honey, the fact that you're saying you are getting a divorce is enough for me. I don't need no receipt. She is a little something. Okay, inspiration. Now, right now, it looks like I'm about nine or ten minutes behind, but they're coming in, so... um they're coming in so fast that I keep getting behind every time I try to catch up. She is, she's something. Now she just recently went and created a um, membership and she says she's only going to go live in her membership 
from now on, if you really mess with her, you'll pay for the membership. Now, if that worked, I don't even know what to say. I, I said, dang, maybe that's what I need to do. I'm only going to live in membership. No, I would never do that. The fact that she did that, I thought was a lot. Exactly, Latoy. I mean, come on, let's be honest. I mean, really, they should have called her. Exactly. Water is included in the motel. That's my whole point. Like, where are y'all staying at? But you know what? If she didn't teach her daughter how to bathe, she needs to bathe her until she does. I mean, that's no excuse for your child to, to go out the house like that. Um, Mrs. Denise allowed her child to go to school without a bath, and now she's upset that the teacher asked, did she take a bath? You know how many times Gypsy has come home and has said stuff that this lady has said to her that I didn't like? I can't go to the school every single day or every other day. Why? You ain't got no job. You ain't got nothing to do. But this one right here, it boiled my bubble and it, and it just crossed the line. There's just certain things you just don't you know ask a child you're the teacher you're supposed to be calling the parents she shouldn't have to call your your house she shouldn't have to call you it's not her job to police and parent you as a parent you should be enough of a parent and a decent enough of a parent to make sure that your child is clean going to school clean clothes clean body clean sh decent shoes hair comb Don't we have that thing called class dojo where you can send a message? You can ask a child, but you can't ask a grown ass mother. Why should she have to ask you if you bathe your daughter? She know you didn't. She was just being polite. The girl stank. I mean, it just is what it is. You let your daughter go to school funky. You did that. Delirious Denise. So what she need to ask, what she should have did is put her at her room. Because I would have. Who the hell want a musty little girl in there giving everybody a headache? Right? Mm -mm. And if them folks in that damn chat is uh, is is agreeing with her, they a damn fool. And so Man, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but India, oh, thank you. I did hear uh, that she has uh, CPS cases in several else, locations. I was, I was thinking Thank about you it when I was talking to this name took me to the left now. I was like, uh, I, I was like, what it was. this jelly. I thought this you was coming in here all. being messy. <laughs> oh, I heard world. about your channel, though, Miss Delirious. Uh, Delicious Denise, too. Uh, yeah, she was well, mad about your channel, baby. Paper. She tried to get them to get you reported. Exactly. The, uh, that little girl said she didn't remember because she didn't take no bath. She didn't. Oh, no, nah, honey. Let me tell you something. When Mama Bear comes out, Mama Bear comes out. You ain't going to ask You ain't exactly. gonna ask my daughter, a six-year-old little girl, all these And I heard that questions. she has cases nah. in several different states. Now, nah, Amanda, I, told, I left it on the acid machine. I went off. She can call me tomorrow. Oh, Belgium is Ar Northern Ireland. Oh, welcome. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I, I told that answer machine off. <laughs> uh, telling, telling them that didn't she go to school? Didn't she go to college? Didn't she get an education to become a teacher? I'm not educated. I didn't go to college, I told her. But I know to think before I speak. Oh, I went off. I went off. Why don't you act before your child leaves and bathe your child? If she is not uh, able to bathe herself, when my goddaughter is here and she takes a bath, we make sure after she bathes herself, we go back and bathe her again. Or when we got to the point that we trusted her enough to bathe herself, I still made sure her underarms was good make sure i see that her body has had obvious signs of soap you can tell like no 
that is your job as a parent to make sure that kid is clean. Sheesh. She probably don't bathe either, y'all. There's about 14 more minutes in this video. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to stop here. I went off to the point where the machine was telling me I've exceeded my message and I put it urgency. Urgency. They need to urgently call defects on her. I don't know. I mean, I, there shouldn't be such a need these days to police parents. You know, some of these people should just have the good sense to want to do right by the children that they bought in the world. And it's sad that more and more of them don't. That's true. Okay, let me go back to the next video that we're going to look at tonight. Now, I haven't been over here in a few days, but we're going to jump on over here to Miss Wineglass. Now, before I get to the video that we're going to um, jump into of hers, I wanted to show y'all this video to get y'all's uh, opinion. Um, this one is going to be a Peach McIntyre video. It's very short. Now, to be honest with you, I'm the type of person, I don't want to just jump over to somebody's channel every time they blink their eye. I, if, if we're here talking... I want us to talk about things that are worth the conversation. I want to I want to react to actual things. I don't want to have to struggle. So that's why I have a plethora of people that we talk about. I hope that's enjoyable for you guys. I hope it gives you um more to talk about instead of less to talk about. I don't want to uh, for example, I talk about Peach a lot, but Peach doesn't really have anything going on. The last thing that she did worth discussing, in my opinion, was going out with JT. Now, I heard some things about uh, a few issues that she had over on TikTok. Well, I didn't see them, so I can't really, um, I can't really react to something I, that I didn't see. Um, so um, that kind of is what it is. But let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, play this little clip. And I want you guys to give me your input. I thought it was interesting that she was the one who actually is talking about this. But still at the same time, I definitely would like you guys input on this. Just one moment. Okay, I got it set up now. Let me pull it up on the screen. She's another one that barely puts stuff up in a way that makes it uh, proficient as a content creator for her to think that she has so much to offer as far as teaching people content creation, but I digress. Okay, I want you guys to check this out and tell me what you think of it. this right quick because it's been on my mind for days i already talked about this with my husband he thought i was tripping i want to hear y'all take on this i made it a status let me read it to you all thank you Candace. it says i never hear stories about white people retiring their parents hmm i even watched an interview recently where this white basketball player made all these millions and he was asked if he retired his parents or did anything for them he answered no my parents are doing fine. They retired themselves. They own their own home. And my dad is doing really well. Why does it seem like black people always have to buy their black parents a house and retire them? Let's talk about it. 
And I really want to hear y'all opinions. Y'all know I'm open for education, but I feel like that's so weird. Like, it's just been on my mind for days. I see so many black people become successful and they got to buy mom Dukes a house. Why? Tell me what y'all think about that. And for me, not only did I think that the who of it was um, interesting, the, the person saying it, but I just feel like that's another dig at her mother. What does it matter? I mean, there probably are a lot of uh, non-African American people who do that very thing they just don't talk about it they don't have to talk about it or brag about it when it comes to taking care of their parents uh or come to doing something for their parents look at vanessa uh, bryant kobe bryant's wife she had her mom around she took care of her mom she just didn't talk about it as a matter of fact after him his passing a few years later, she kind of stopped doing so much for her mom for whatever reason. And what did the mother do? She sued her. She sued her because she had basically given her this way of life after all this time and the mother felt entitled to that. Just because they don't talk about it doesn't mean that they don't do it. And I just really thought that she was a little slow even for that. I, I just really did. Tell me what you guys think about that. And of all the people talking about it, why did it have to be this Nimrod? I just really don't know why Peach always has to throw digs. And the thing about it is she don't have, you know, her kids are getting older every day. And she's not going to be able to handle what they're going to throw at her. Honestly, to think about it, the sad part about it is her mother probably did enable Peach. And what did she do? She turned around and she is the main person that she treats awfully. Yeah, right, Cancer. It's a dig at her mom and it's crazy. Exactly. Uh, Delicious Denise, too. Let me say that right. Um, I mean... A lot of people do a lot of things that they don't talk about. They don't feel the need to make it a focal point online. They just handle their business. They just do what they got to do. And I just thought that was so interesting that of all people, it had to be her. Why do we have to buy for our mother? I mean, why, if you can comfortably buy for your mother, why wouldn't you want to? Especially if she was the type of mother that you loved an, you know enough to make that type of sacrifice because i mean let's be honest you may have kids to take care of you may have all type of other situations and things but instead you just decided to do something nice for a parent what's wrong with that exactly not everybody has to brag on the things that they do and you know maybe unfortunately the people that she's referring to is the ones who are just, it just depends on who's asked the question. Let's just keep it real. It may not even have anything to do with who asked the question. I mean, it, it could be the situation. It could be the place. It could be the time. And it was a basketball player, I believe, that was asked that question about their parent. And they just happened to come from a household that they didn't have a type of situation where it was warranted or needed. And honestly, that's kind of the big gist of it all. I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share that with you guys. Um, because, I mean, let's just say Peach. <sighs> that's all I'm going to say is Peach. Y'all, if y'all will, please hit that like button for me. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to react to this last video um it's wine glass and chill like i said we haven't been over there in quite a while 
So we're going to jump on over there, react to that video, and then we're going to call it a night. And let me put it on the screen, y'all. Happy Easter. So I'm going to set up the kids' Easter basket. is she does put in the effort of trying to fulfill everything except for birthdays i must i must say that because on her kids birthdays she spoke that they basically didn't get anything unless it was purchased by someone else but she does a pretty decent job it seems like for back to school she did a pretty decent job for christmas now i don't know if she had help or not um, but I don't recall her begging around Christmas time and then her taking the effort to make her kids Easter baskets. I thought was was decent because I don't recall any of the other moms doing that. So I just wanted to give credit where credit was due when it came to that. I ain't saying she ain't no beggar and none of that other stuff, but I would like her, you know, to get credit for that. The future of your business so baby, is here. You, With Wix, you get advanced plan. AI capability. On commercials, baby. We ain't even too All right, so I'm going to do the jelly beans. Hi, Mary, Al Mary Allen. I'm sorry. Welcome to the chat. Hey, well, I hope I said your name right. Hi, welcome to my chat. Let me show y'all what the kids Thank is going to wear. Thank you so much, love. Um, I changed their outfits, so I know I showed y'all what I brought. The kids, Esme is still going to wear what he going to wear. But RJ, I mean, Ayori and RJ is going to dress the like, so they're going to wear their little... Um, their little... I think this is a Timbaland outfit. Mommy, you can't trip that. This yours. Mommy, you can trip that. And then this is not. I don't like the way, especially Naori jumps into the chat. I mean, into the camera's view. And she does a horrible job when it comes to uh, protecting their innocence. Because he was on here. I don't know if it was this video or another one. Standing there in his underwear now. Okay, he's covered, but that's his freaking underwear. Ayori shorts that go, he's gonna wear. And then, um, let me see. Let me see. Nayori, RJ has the black pair. Mommy, I can't fit so, this. Go get y'all shoes. I'm gonna show them what shoes y'all gonna wear. Okay. So I did go shopping. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of other stuff. I got Malaysia some of these and some more shorts for summer. I got RJ this Timberland outfit. I got RJ another Timberland outfit. I really didn't get Nayori much because he got outfits from what RJ can't fit no more. 
These are Malaysia shoes. This is what she's gonna wear today. These are Nike Air Maxes. So I don't know what kind of Air Max, but these are the shoes she's gonna wear. Here, let me show them your shoes. I got Nayuri the same pair of shoes that Edwin has. Go get RJ shoes. Okay. I just got it. And then let me show y'all what Malaysia gonna wear today. Uh -uh. This is RJ shoes that I brought him. Well, we brought him, whatever. So, these are shoes he's gonna wear today. Bigger, bigger, bigger. <coughs> this is what Malaysia is gonna wear today for Easter. So she's gonna wear this little cute little pink outfit with this headband and it's some shorts so she's gonna wear these pink shoes to go with it so i think that's just gonna be so today is the day i finally got fabletic scrubs okay so don't tell anybody but i think i found a secret hack so cute this is the outfit i'm gonna wear today so it's i'm gonna be matching her somewhat be wearing this, and I got Malaysia. Go in my room, go get my Air Max shoes. Air Max. Yeah, okay. I brought me some shoes too, and it's some shorts that go with these. Daddy got, so daddy cool. got, daddy, daddy got him too. Yeah, he got shoes too. So, um, but let me show y'all the outfits that I got myself. So I just got some like little t-shirts for summer. And then I got Malaysia some more. Like these are so cute to me. I got her these little clothes. Um, Cause they're playing. They're planning. I'm hoping that they can go to summer school this year. And I got these shorts for Malaysia. I didn't get no shirts to go with these yet. I'm gonna have to find like some t-shirts to go with them. I got these for RJ. These was all at TJ Maxx. So I got these for RJ. I mean, I'm starting. Because uh, she's going to be into this showing us stuff for a little bit. and But it was cute that, you know, she did go and buy for her kids. Um, it's, it's pleasant to see because she really had gotten to be a little bit overbearing with the big and two. She wasn't at Denise's level, but she definitely was was about that life. I'm mm. See, they still can't see me. You gotta point it down. Get out! Not you, the girls first. Girls will go first. Mm. Here's very interesting to me just like that baby was there man you see them trying to take a doggone picture move the baby out the way and the fact that he don't want to be on here like this is how she's making money to help pay y'all bills but you don't want to be on here that makes me feel like either she really is the side chick and don't know it or it's just something about that situation to me that's very odd he I don't know where this is. Put your now there was a part of this video or there was a part of a video that she did it was actually right. one called uh look at the camera authentic day in, of the day in the life um and the point that i wanted to make was her and sky are now all of a sudden trying to do exercise now i did like this and he wanted to show us she was saying she's broke because she spent a lot of money on her kids which is great never anything wrong with that um you know a lot of people have issues about baby daddy not doing this and not doing that and i mean all of those 
uh, opinions definitely stand. But I mean, long as she's doing what she's got to do for her kids, at least she, you know, is stepping up and not begging for every single thing. I haven't seen her beg in a while. But um, I find it interesting that he does not want to be on here. But also, like I said, I was talking about the fact of all of a sudden now she's talking about working out and trying to get fit. And Scott got her a membership to a gym that the very next month she needed her money back for. Now, I'm not dogging her or, or saying anything because she needed her money back. If you need your money, you need your money. But hell, for you knew when you got that damn membership, you couldn't afford it. But you out here trying to copy somebody else's content, and now you look like a fool because they took your $40 and you is stressed the hell out. But these folks is getting ten thousand plus dollars in income tax how on earth are they broke by april tax season officially isn't even over to the 15th and these girls is broke as hell can y'all help me understand that my understanding is baby daddy don't work he's apparently disabled from being shot in the legs but now he can run his chunky ass up and down uh aisles at the grocery store but he can't get and hunch and make babies but he can't get no job but you know that's another story for another day but anyway like i said i just i just i i don't get it why everybody got a copy if these young ladies would just live their life and be authentic authentically them there would be no issue at all basically none let me see there was one okay this is probably it right here You know what? It's interesting that you say that, and I'm hope I hope I'm saying your name right, Sayoris, Sayo Sayoris. I hope I'm saying your name right, but I find that very interesting as well. And like I said again, welcome to the chat. I hope you have hit that subscribe button, and guys, please hit that uh, like button for me. Help me in the algorithm. But she should have did that within a week of that worker being at her house if your kids matter to you. She's talking about she ain't had time. Honey, what the hell is you doing? Okay, Sersha. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. And again, welcome to our, uh, to the channel. Exactly. It's boring and it makes you look stupid and it makes you look like an underachiever. All you got to do is do content of whatever type. Let it be what what it, what you're about. And if you need new content, new content ideas, definitely look online for inspiration. But you shouldn't stop at one person's channel and oh, because Jasmine is working out and lose weight. Now I'm going to lose weight. Heck, she even got doggone Lib over there about to pass the hell out doing workouts. But I give it to her because my chunky ass, and yes, I am chunky, would not have been up on that damn thing looking like I was about to pass out just trying to get some content. Like, it, it wouldn't have been me. But you know what? That's another thing for another day. But anyway, that was another thing that I wanted to bring up, the fact of her working out. And I just wanted to see a, a little bit of this video. Now, I'm not going to pull up the other one because I don't have it already queued up and I don't want to waste you guys' time. So, uh, exactly, daily life, day in the life, what you do, how you deal with adversity and problems, how you make your kids' life fun and interesting with what you have and so on and so forth. That's what you do. But, guys, I want to thank you all for checking in here with me today. We talked a little bit about um, Miss Mahogany and a few of the other ones out here in these YouTube streets. And again, I'm going to try to have more information about that lawsuit that Mahogany filed against Justin tomorrow. So look out for that. I thank you guys for checking these out. And please let me know if you guys want to keep Denise as a regular part of our line up and we are going to go through some of the other people as well um i'll see y'all in the next video bye